no intention of telling any of you uh, other than the ones I've already stated because I'm not going to help you guys elect a fascist. Fuck that. No. I No, I'll wait until after the election for my criticisms. Uh, but you can't even give me one single thing that Donald Trump's done just this long you. in eight years. No, you didn't. You said he said some stuff yeah. about women. What did he say about women? Hello? Hey, guys. How's it going? What's so, going on? What's your take? My take, I'm having a lot of problems with Kamala Harris right now. I was actually more for Biden than I was for Harris. That's weird, but all right. Uh, Just a couple of things she said. Like, even Biden was like a moderate Democrat. I think that's something we like kind of needed right now. But like Kamala Harris, like a couple of things she said. It's Kamala. Kamala, okay. Uh, Kamala Kamala. Harris, uh, like she said like five years ago, she was against certain things that now she isn't. Right now, she's kind of backtracking. Yeah, uh, all, most politicians do this going in the general. Yeah, but uh, like, in fact, in fact, pretty much. In fact, if you if, if you want to be real about it, uh, almost all Republicans do this. If you go to their primaries, they act like crazy people to get people out to vote for them, and then they try and play moderate later on. Vance, Biden did this too. Vance is doing the same thing. Yeah, uh, I agree and you with can't that. fault her. She's in. A, you can't fault her. She's in a good position. Like, ultimately, she wants to win the election, and that's going <laughs> to require flip flopping because her positions are not. You know, they've they've they, they've been inconsistent in the past. We've talked about them, um, but she's given at least to win the election. And I talked to Jane about this. You know, the reality is, you know, this epiphany moment like for OK, like writing the hype. I'm going to vote for him and advocate for. I think it's going to be amazing that she wins on every level. And I'm going to be excited as fuck. But I already know she's going to piss me off. Uh, it's just going to be reality of it. And it's just sort mm-hmm. of the, what you have to take. She's in a position where nobody really knows who she is. And so what she's going to do and what she's been doing is they've been focused testing specific audiences. And that's who they're trying to target. They're not trying to target a wide swath of audience. They're trying to go out to Michigan and be like, this is, you know, this, this is a policy that the Midwest supports. Go out here and, oh, this, you know, they're not, she's not trying to put out a widespread policy that's going to create a lot of damnation. In fact, you know, a lot of progressives largely ignored the fact that she said she didn't want universal health care just because Donald Trump wants to get rid of the ACA. So the alternative's worse, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I get some of your points. You know, one thing, one thing that bothers me too is like, She's kind of had a take and like maybe like leaning towards socialism a little bit. Like her father was mm-hmm. a Marxist. Have y'all heard about that? Have y'all seen that? He was not. No. I no, think I, they're are they confusing him with Fonny Fonny Willis? I looked it up. I, I heard about it and I looked it up on the internet and it, I mean every fact check site I saw fact checked it. his father her father was actually a Marxist economist. So that does kind of never an economist. Me. Well, he was never a Marxist economist. I don't know. I fact checked it. That's, that's all I know, and that's what I found. Y'all can fact check me too. I mean, I'm pretty. I'm, he already did. He taught at Stanford. He's an American economist. Yeah, but he 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 supported Marxism in a lot of cases. What does that mean? Where? Well, I mean, I don't support Karl Marx. I don't think that's the direction. I know, but I'm asking, where all. are you? What are you pointing to that would indicate that he supported Marxism and taught it as a professor? I didn't really look into the details specifically, but I actually looked that. into it. And well, I mean, have you looked into the details of it? Uh, yes, There's no record of him ever supporting Marxism. Okay, I, I looked it up. I, I thought I could. I thought I looked it up. But anyway, um, one of the things too that I think she's going to struggle with is like five years ago she was talking about the mandatory gun buyback, and I think that's going to hurt her so bad with deep roots Republicans. That's I mean, a popular policy, though. Yeah, for mandatory ARs. gun buyback program. I don't think that's yeah. popular for ARs. For yeah. AR-15s, it is. Uh, for uh, mandatory, so nothing mandatory. Yeah, about fifty something. I don't know. That, I don't know that I've seen polls on that, but about fifty-six uh, percent of Americans want to get rid of ARs. That should scare people. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I mean, what if we need to defend ourselves? You don't need an AR. So prior to two thousand and six, how are you planning on doing that? Prior to two thousand and six, right? What changed in 2006? The assault weapon you assault ban, weapon ban expired. Sunset. Well, I mean, you could. I mean, I support the rights if I need to use if, if I need to use a gun to defend myself. I don't want to use like a musket or like a single so, barrel shotgun. So prior to 2006, if you didn't, if you weren't armed with ARs, what's what was stopping the government? Well, someone could have got an AR. Just not like ARs weren't around before 2006. So they were not as widely because the the assault weapons ban went into place in 1994. So they were not as widespread. There were other okay. like Russian made guns coming in, but they weren't widespread for the AR-15. Yeah, but I disagree banning the AR-15. I, I think that's ridiculous. Right, but your argument is 
guns. We need them to protect yeah, ourselves. We need to protect the, ourselves from drones flying at 10,000 feet. So what was stopping the government between 1994 and 2006 from acting crazy and doing nutso stuff? Nothing. Cool. Well, we've, got, so, we've got people that are showing us. <laughs> also, cool. Can you take... Cool. Just just one more thing. Can you tell me a time in which uh, people with guns stood up to stop injustice on a wide scale? Because uh, uh, it didn't happen. Ukraine? No, no, that's a that's an established army. Well, I'm, no, I'm talking about the citizens had to arm up and fight against the Russian soldiers. Uh, they actually never fought. That well, was so really the early on in the revolution as well. That was early on. Was no, upon the no, the American Revolution, Revolution revolutionary no, army. It actually wasn't. There was a revolutionary army. In fact, it was the French is the reason we won. In fact, yeah, but it was the citizens George, that fought George, back against the government. No, George Washington actually despised the militia. He viewed them as completely useless. Uh, untrained, unquipped, he viewed them as completely useless. Uh, it was the French and the Revolutionary Army that won the war. So, our, I, I don't know if you know this, but the reason, here's George a fun Washington fact. Fight? No, they did, but here's a fun fact. The reason the Americans won this war is the reasons, is almost, uh, is almost the same reason most wars get lost now. Uh, the British ran out of money. They accrued an incredible amount of debt and they gave up. It was a long war. So, um, well, I still, but I mean, American citizens armed up and fall back against the British because they was taxing us. I learned that in school. Yeah, I know that's wrong. I don't know where you went it was to school. It sounds like a revolutionary South, army. No, it was the Revolutionary Army. The Continental Congress put together the army, and it was predominantly the army is the reason they won. But uh, the French, the French helped prolong the war. My question: Why would we want a government that would actually mandatory for citizens to? Like take the rights away like that. Well, I'm gonna be, the it's, duty it's not, of the government is to keep its people safe. Right. Well, I don't think it's a right. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. As someone that owns ARs, uh, I would be totally fine with the government taking them away. I think the thing that you guys are missing. Why do I own them? Because I, I like shooting. But I definitely understand that there needs to be more background stuff in terms of that degree. But um, the reality is, is that. From my perspective, as a gun owner, as someone that does like to shoot, the correct approach is not going our rights, our rights, our rights. Uh, the correct approach is going, what can we, how can we make this work? That would be the correct approach because, and I've been saying this for years, uh, that unless gun owners step to the table and go, hey, we'll work with you, we'll get some stuff passed and we won't be obstinate towards every single thing, uh, your rights, it's not going to be a matter of restriction, it's going to be a matter of going away. That's what's going to happen. Well, I'm just, it's not very like, you know, we talk about like a divisive candidate and everybody says Trump is so divisive. But I mean, if you're you saying that them. openly, I, and I know you're saying it's politics and just changing positions, but still you got to, a lot of Republicans are never going to vote for because of that. Never vote for who? Trump? No, Kamala. Kamala. He oh, was more liberal on Kamala. guns than the Biden administration was. Trump was? Yes. How was Trump more liberal? He did away with, with bump stocks. He did away with high capacity magazines. In fact, it was so stringent, the rollbacks that he did, that the Supreme Court recently struck it down. Why, why, why are you, what are you talking, so you, now you're against taking those things? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that the Republicans, including Donald Trump, were for Donald Trump stronger never gun control methods. He endorsed his red flag laws. He has endorsed, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, uh, bans on bump stocks and high capacity magazines. He's done more for gun rollbacks uh, than Biden has. Yeah, but he at every single campaign rally, he tells me he's not going to take away my guns. We know. Okay, he's but not. he did. But he did. He didn't do nothing. He didn't take. He did, away and it was ruled unconstitutional when he did it. That's how so, bad it was. So would it be unconstitutional? That should be your argument that Donald Trump was so bad at taking people's guns that even the Supreme Court didn't side with him. <laughs> Donald Trump didn't try to take nobody's guns. No, why did he try to ban bump stocks and high capacity magazines? for Kamala Harris to mandi Kamala. Mandatory, mandatory take away our guns? Is that constitutional? Yes, a mandatory buyback is constitutional. That's constitutional. Me and you have a total different view of America. Prove me wrong then. Uh, the amendment. The, the second amendment. What amendment? Man. Yes, right. Well regulated. We have a right to bear arms. What do you, I mean, why would you want you to know, go? That doesn't well, say well regulated guns. militia. You have a right to bear arms? Like bears yeah, with arms? That's, that's crazy. Of, well, you could swing bear arms around all you want, but when it comes to guns, the second amendment doesn't say guns. Right. What are you talking about, dude? What does well, it say AR-15? They want to put us back to muskets is what they want to do. They want Where the does it say musket in there? Things. And then the citizens to have. Does it talk about tanks? Does it talk about nukes? Does it talk about submarines? Does it talk about any of that stuff? Dude, 
taking. Why can't you have a nuke teams. right now? Why don't you, you have a nuke? If I if I had enough money, I could get one. No, you couldn't. Yes, you could. If you had enough money, you could not buy a one. nuke. No, you, you could not buy a nuke. What do you What do you mean? I ran. So what do you mean? What do you mean? You would. You couldn't buy one from Iran. No, they I don't have one either. Iran had enough money to get a nuke. What do you? What do you? They have a hundred. Talking about the United States. What's Iran's uh, GDP? It's like, what is it, 150 billion or something, or is it more? I can't remember. And they can't it's get a new. It's 403 billion. It's 403 billion. And we know this because we just talked about it. It's crazy high. I think Ukraine's is 150. That's where I'm getting confused. Yeah, I mean, it still doesn't defeat the point that we're giving more power to the government. I don't like that. To giving more power to the government for, for for I don't understand. It's like weird well, to me that they're like we don't give power to the government, but also indemnify police. Right. Also stop and frisk. You push the agenda. Also, also let Donald Trump consolidate the FBI and the DOJ. See, make it into a rank and file response only to the uh, federal government, only to the White House. <laughs> I think the only difference is like I don't trust these these administrations and these you know overseers. Like I don't trust the FBI. I don't trust the court system most of the time. I don't trust anybody in the government. I'm, I'm definitely not pro government. You trust Anything Trump? The government gets involved in. I'm, I'm not for it. You trust Trump? Yeah, I, I do trust Trump. You trust the guy with 34 felonies? The guy who is not supported I mean, I by 40 out of 44 members of his cabinet? That's all political prosecution. If the guy that tried to overturn an election result that he, he duly lost. He, he, he stepped down. I mean, all he said After was he was exhausted rigged. every last resource he did. All he said this was it was you can't. You cannot argue that that, that was a peaceful thing. transition of power. And he's claiming I mean, he want, he's wanting to do it again. What do you mean? He Hillary said the same. She denied the election results as well. No, she did not. She conceded the next day. It really no, is wild. She, the she amount of like stuff. Later, what, dude, too. dude, look at how much stuff you have to full blown deny on a persistent <laughs> basis. Like just no, reality. Why no. would you allow an orange man that's a billionaire that's begging you for money, ironically enough, to dictate your reality? Every time we show you guys something, you're like, no, no, he couldn't. He wouldn't do He wouldn't do no, that. I know him. He wouldn't do that. I know him. That's all. It's that's lies. All that's it's all lies. That's all we all have. So how do we have him on audio tape? Uh, showing off documents. How do we have you're that? Calling elected officials. Showing off what documents? What are you talking about? He's showing classified off documents. classified documents. How do we have him in court well, what losing every deal? single I mean, court case? What, 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 what can you say? Can you say? Biden? Tell me. Can you tell me one thing Donald Trump's done that's wrong? One thing that Donald Trump has done that's wrong. I think everybody's done something that's wrong. I don't, I don't uh, that's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you for one thing that Donald Trump's done that's wrong. Well, what's one thing Kamala's done wrong? No, you can answer me. Thank you. Okay, one thing that Donald Trump has done wrong. Let me see. Let me see. Let me think. Um, maybe and that, maybe making some comments about women. It's weird that you won't say the bump stocks ban. Man, I don't even know much about that, man. We, we I mean, it's probably his not comments about Trump women. Movie. What comments about women? Man, he said he said some stuff that I don't agree with. But I mean, oh, what about he said some stuff you shouldn't agree with? Right. So being what, on what Epstein Island. Doing? He, man, I, I saw like there's a lot of people involved in the Epstein deal. It's not just Trump. And that makes it okay for him? <laughs> no. no, I don't believe that, dude. Why do you just believe whatever? I do, he's goes? literally, but he's I on don't. Epstein's plane. He's flying so around on Epstein's plane right now. So was Bill Clinton. We're not voting for Bill Clinton. Yeah, but in 2016, I bet y'all. I, I know, and he should listen. Here's the deal if Bill Clinton did it, he should go to prison too. Well, he's not. Nobody's done anything to him. They do. If I Trump wouldn't vote for him. I wouldn't vote in 2024. I would not vote for Bill Clinton because he was on Epstein's flight log. We both know if Trump was Bill, if Trump was in Bill Clinton's shoes, Trump would have got charged like 250 times. We both Clinton know was that. impeached. What? They, Trump was impeached over nothing. I mean, they hate him. Everybody oh hates Trump's God. guts. You still no, have no, not told was... me a single thing that he has said that's do- that's bad. And I just want to point well, out, this is being part of a Kamala. cult. No, stop. Stop. You stop deflecting. This is this is a part I absolutely can. I have no intention of telling any of you uh, other than the ones I've already stated because I'm not going to help you guys elect a fascist. Fuck that. No. I, no, I'll wait until after the election for my criticisms. Uh, but you can't even give me one single thing that Donald Trump's done just this wrong you. in eight years. No, you didn't. You said he said some stuff yeah. about women. What did he say about women? Man, like, what do you say? remember the locker room talk thing? Remember in the 2016 debate how they said that like right. 50,000 times? That was all used they, against they, him in his deposition. Yeah, the moderator. That he violently essayed a woman. The moderator had to ask that question like four times to make sure everybody could hear it. You understand like, that was used in his deposition, right? 
to, con- to e- find liability in his E. Jean Carroll case. Yeah, the E. Jean Carroll case was bullshit. How is it that you believe that's bullshit, but not his words? You think he should have to pay four hundred million dollars? I mean, that was ridiculous. He didn't pay four hundred million dollars. Four hundred million dollars. I can't. This guy is just. Well, that was what they issued. I mean, they reduced. No, it wasn't. It how crazy no, they didn't. it was. That was the, Leti- the Letitia James case. That was, man, there was several cases. All them cases are just total phony. I mean. I know everything. Listen to yourself, man. Every, Donald Trump has never done anything wrong. Well, Everybody well, is out to get him. Do you I not mean, sit around? Stop talking for a second. Stop interrupting me. Man. Stop interrupting me. Can you imagine sitting around and just like full sail denying entire rea- your entire reality? It's like, oh, no, it's not. It's not that. Let's, let's put this into perspective. It's not that Donald Trump was found to have done it in court. It's not that Donald Trump has lost like six or seven high profile courts. Court case. It's not that he was convicted by a jury of his peers. It's not that he's lost every single grand jury across the United States. It's not that he's he there's he's on audio recording committing the crimes. It's not that he call he's on audio committing a crime towards Ben Raffensperger. It's not that he uh, violently essayed E. Jean Carroll. It's not none of this, right? You just the list goes on. That he did a fraud at a children's cancer charity. He has four thousand lawsuits against him. Two hundred liens against property. The list goes on. It's not that, right? None of that. It's 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 fucking. Oh, he he said something. You know, and then you just ignore it. I don't. I don't understand the logic here. What's great? What's What's awesome? What's really awesome is that all that stuff you just mentioned, and there's still people like everybody. Me e- I know, like you, that deny right, I that know, deny that reality. Yes, yes, better. yes. It doesn't make the argument. Yes, 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 the argument. That's Could you imagine if you're awesome. sitting here on a regular basis, being like, no, uh, and you take all that, right? Everything I just told you, and more, because anytime Donald Trump does something, you guys just deny it, and he goes, oh. It's not that I did (laughs) something. Listen, hold on a second. It's that people come after me about it. Oh my God, everybody's out to get me. And then you turn around and you call everybody else professional victims. It's f***ing wild. Wildly detached from reality. If you guys want to know what brainwashing says, this is it. You have a cult leader that can do no wrong. (laughs) Well, where are you getting your information from? You have a cult leader that can do no wrong. Well, what? Kamala can't do no wrong for you. Kamala. Well, she can't. Oh, Kamala. And I've talked about. Hold I've talked to a degree right. about the Kamala wrong she's done. I, yeah, no, I've talked to. Time. I've yes, I know because you can't get it right. <laughs> Keep oh, on. Y'all so bad. Cool story. So it's like we're not even living in the same reality. You just like any time that something happens, you're like, no, it couldn't possibly be. Let's talk, for Yo, instance, about this. The then same, listen man. for a second. Listen, no, I don't. Let's talk for this for no, a second. Of course you don't. So the Donald negatives against stuff. Kamala Harris are far and away. No way you could be wrong. One second, I want to ask this question, please, really quick. So you're saying all of the cases are bunk, right? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. So how is it, how did someone make him show off audio recording, or sorry, show off documents to three different people that did not have the security clearance to see them? He showed them classified documents, and he did this on audio recording, and you can listen to it. How did they make him do that? Well, why did Joe Biden not face Stop, you, uh, stop, you know, stop. Yeah, no, no, mute it immediately. No thanks, ain't gonna deal with it. You're gonna answer my question, you're gonna get hit with a mute every single time. So don't even waste words, because if you're not getting right to the question, I'm just gonna start over again with a review. Okay, so the question's about the classified documents that he showed off in a video. No, he showed off under audio recording, the three people are gonna be testifying against him. Okay, so what's the problem? He described a classified document that he said he did not have, that he still had possession of. He lied to the DOJ about it. He lied to NARA about having it. And he showed it off to three different people that did not have the ability to see it. I mean, where are you getting this information from? I wasn't there. You weren't it's, there. It's in, you can listen to it. It's literally in the indictment about when they contacted him. He's not denying it, by the way. At no point has he denied that he did this. Well, either way, I mean, I don't see nothing very wrong with what you're you don't see about. nothing not wrong with showing off the most classified documents that we have. Documents that have to be held in compartmentalized areas so that they can't piece, be pieced together. You're telling me that showing those documents off to random people is not a problem. How is this not well, at see, odds with see, your position see, my, my that we need? On that is, see, Wait, I don't Kevin. see nothing wrong with that. Just like y'all don't see nothing. But wrong here, I'll with tell you why. How, how is that not at odds documents. with your position? that we need to arm ourselves in case of an attack that otherwise could happen because of that breach of security. Well, you've got because you've got one political party that is against citizens having guns and that's not even No, they are not. All right. I'm gonna Why did on. she say that then? I'm done. We do not care. I mean, the guy just won't answer any questions. He just keeps deflecting. I'm done. And the fact is, like, I don't, why, what am I going to talk to you about? If you don't, if you can't conceptualize why showing off compartmentalized information the highest security that we have in this country. If you can't 
If you if it can't even cross your mind as to why that's a problem, we have nothing to talk about. Right. You do not have the aptitude to be having right. this conversation. You're out of the. We range. need guns to secure ourselves, but also it's fine that he made us less secure. Right. It would be like uh, it would be as dumb as me arguing. Well, if a bomb goes off in New York City, I don't see a problem with that. You just don't have any conceptualized understanding of why it's bad. And I don't want to sit here and talk talk about it. It could put the people in danger that collected that information. It could put the methods in which we collected it in danger. Which, by the way, would put not just that document in danger but loads of other ones so now we can't collect information like that it could potentially kill the people that found it and kill more people because now iran has corrected for uh the way in which we we found this information it puts people in danger across the board now i agree the u.s has way too many classified documents but to not even be able to conceptualize the dangers like standing in traffic and say mm, why should i move